did you perform an autopsy on a person by the name of Robert Cipriano? Yes. The injury that I was referring is in, the, in this area around the temporal area and the forehead and on the almost the entire face. And how would you categorize those injuries, sir? It's a blunt trauma. The other injury is on the left side of the head that has a large laceration and multiple injuries inside of these two injuries. Now, Doctor, the, I, I'm noticing, too, that the left ear seems to be shredded. Yes. And what's that a result of? It's a really heavy impact that was given in that area. All right. And how would you categorize that entire injury that you're seeing there? This is a blunt force trauma. Due to the uh, impacts on the head, there were fractures on the base of the skull, and the hemorrhage was going to the airways. Then, because he was still alive breathing, at the time the, the hemorrhage went into the lungs, and actually he drowned in his own blood. He drowned in his own blood. Uh, he became very emotional. Can you describe that for us? Uh, he began crying, put his head against his, uh, or down between his knees, and he asked for a, um, a garbage can because he thought he was going to get sick. Did he remain emotional throughout the pendency of your interview? Um, there were a couple times he, while talking to him after telling him that he began getting upset. Um, it wasn't the whole time, but I would say one or two times after telling him and after that initial time that he was, he began crying that he, uh, he became upset. He stated he held him from behind and Roderick was um, hitting him in the head with a baseball bat. Did Tucker Cipriano make any statements in regards to his mother if she ever became involved? Yes. What, if anything, did he, he state? He states that his mother came down shortly after um, Roderick was hitting his dad. And when she came down, she was near a um, island, center island in the kitchen. And at that time, um, she had a stupid look upon her face like she didn't know what was happening. And that's when Roderick hit her in the head with a bat, and then chased her into the living room area. What did you notice about Rose? I noticed, obviously, the fact that she's covered in blood, um, that she's obviously a large swelling and bruising in the face area, especially, particularly for the uh, eyelid, which is indicative of the type of a head injury. He's covered in blood um, from head to toe, pretty much. He was just in his underwear. He also has the uh, swelling of the eyes, the discoloration of the eyes. He's also, I was present when they were cutting away his hair and actually pulling away parts of the scalp to uh, insert this type of drain tube directly into his um, head. Um, and Dr. Vice, because he had a lot of hemorrhaging inside of his brain, I'd asked. Um, there was also the, uh, obviously talking about a lot of sutures, staples from the um, open head wounds from where he was brought into the hospital. We asked him if he was on drugs at that time or anything that would make him where he was unaware of what happened that night. Okay, and did he, what was his answer? He said he smoked spice, but he didn't smoke it that night. And he did not drink or do drugs in that 24-hour period. 